Hi, I'm Jorabyte, and I'm here to teach you how to create your own custom mod packs for Minecraft using the Technic Launcher or the Technic Platform. If you're not familiar with Minecraft, you can find out about it at Minecraft.net. Um, but I'm assuming if you found this video, you're probably pretty familiar with the game and ready to play. I'm making this as a series of videos uh, in honor of my son Icer Slicer's birthday. It's, it was his birthday yesterday and I'm making a series of videos. I may feature him in some of the videos um, but uh, if you're uh, just finding this uh, it's going to be a series of videos. There will be a playlist on my YouTube channel. This is the first video just giving an introduction and I'm going to maybe get into a little bit of the um, tools that you'll need and basically uh, I'll be talking about several things uh, first thing you need to know is this is going to be somewhat technical um, you're going to need access to email you're going to need to have several accounts in order to create your mod packs upload your mod packs and then be able to download those mod packs or possibly uh, have friends download your mod packs to be able to play those packs with you um, you're gonna need several accounts and you probably should have access to an email account that you can associate these different accounts with so if some of this gets be a little beyond your level of expertise you may need to get a parent or an older brother or sister or friend somebody who's an adult or has some experience with this to help you out. Uh, I recommend watching for the first time watching these videos in order part one, part two, etc. and uh, making them full screen so that you can see what I'm doing on the screen. I'll be um, I'll be moving the mouse around and hopefully in this video you can see the mouse you can see as I click and do different things follow along make it full screen, pause the video as you need to, uh, and if you ever run into a problem, get some help. If they don't know how to do it, uh, show them these videos and they can learn as they help you. So this is going to be a, a really cool, fun adventure, and happy birthday, Icer Slicer. I'm going to start by talking about the tools that you need, like a Minecraft account and Technic platform. Um, then we'll get into the how-to, and be mindful that as we talk about these things I'm gonna give you tips on how to stay safe with this what I mean about safe is not that the computer is gonna fall on you and hurt you but uh, as you download things it, when you whether it's a mod or a tool um, or just browsing the web it's very easy to get your computer infected with viruses and with spyware and malware and that can be a real problem. It can really slow your computer down, if not disable your computer. And so I'll be talking about ways to make sure that as you do this and follow this process, you're not infecting your computer or, or bogging your computer down with bad software that you don't need. And uh, so without further ado, I'll get started into um, the things you need. Now, first, first thing is, there are a lot of different ways to do this and there are a lot of different computers and operating systems and um, those other ways can be just fine but I'm gonna show you how I do it first off I use um, a computer with Microsoft Windows uh, as the operating system and uh, to run Minecraft the first thing you're going to need is Java to get any of this you're gonna need a web browser I like to use Google Chrome um, which I have open right here. I like being able to switch between tabs like this. You know, I'm clicking through and I have all of these different websites open at the same time. That way I can switch between things as I want to. So you're going to need Java. If you don't have Java on your computer, um, you can get it from java.com and then you can click on download and it should give you the, the Java um, that corresponds to your system. This is recommending 64-bit Java for Windows 
and to run Minecraft, and especially to run mods with Minecraft, you're going to need 64-bit Java because it lets you load up a lot more memory. Um, if you've already been running Minecraft or if you've already been running the Technic platform like Ice or Slicer has, uh, you've already got 64-bit Java. But um, just telling you uh, for the sake of completeness that you've got to have Java for any of this to work. So you can get that from java.com and there are other links that you can f where you can find different downloads 32 bit, 64 bit and so on. Next thing you're going to need is a Minecraft account. Again, if you're already running Minecraft, you already have this. You may just need to find out your username and password and it may be a Mojang account. You can go to minecraft.net um, and you it, there's a place there for you to log in. There's a place for you to register for an account and to, to buy the game. You have to own the game of Minecraft um, for this to work. Note that you do not have to download it. If you look down here to the, uh, to the bottom right, I may have to move, um, move the screen so that you can see. Um, it says already bought the game, download it here. You don't have to download the actual game of Minecraft, which is kind of interesting. Um, but... Uh, you will need a Minecraft account in order to be able to do this. The next thing you'll need is the Technic platform, which you can get from technicpack.net. Um, once you're at technicpack.net, uh, there is a link here to get the launcher. You can click that link in order to get the launcher itself which you'll need to have accessible. Um, we'll go through how to um, put that in the correct folder here in a little bit. But you're not only going to need the launcher, but you're also going to need to register. There's a link over here on technicpack.net. There's a link to register for an account. And here's a place where, um, just like with Minecraft, you're going to need to have an email, you're going to have to confirm that email and you're going to have to have a username and password and prove that you're not a robot um, to get a technicpack.net account. The reason you're going to need that is that um, the packs that you create, you're going to have to upload those packs to technicpack.net so that technicpack uh, can load those, can download those back into your launcher. Sounds kind of complicated. It's not really that hard. Um, just be aware you need to go ahead and register for this account or like I'm going to do for Ice or Slicer, I'm going to create this account for him. Um, if you have an adult, a parent, a mom, dad, big brother, big sister, that can do this for you and just give you the account information once they set it up that's a good way to go. Um, the next thing you're gonna need 7-zip or some type of unzipping software a lot of people on YouTube and a lot of people in the in the community of modding use WinRare I like 7-Zip because you don't ha it's completely free and you don't have to register it. You don't have to do anything but just download it and run it. If you're using, um, if you're using Windows, uh, then from at 7-Zip.org right here, you can find the download links right here and I recommend if you have a 64-bit operating system 64-bit Windows get this dot MSI for 60-bit 64-bit x64 and install that and it's gonna give you an icon like this over here um, for 7-zip if we open that you can see here that it's looking in my downloads directory and you can create zip files with this you can open zip files you can open jar files which the um, a lot of times the mods themselves are in zip files or jar files 
this is a very useful tool because you can open and move files or excuse me move files around um, inside zips and jars and things like that with 7-zip okay so that's going to be a very handy tool um, the last tool that we'll talk about here is Dropbox you're going to need a Dropbox account now this is one of those where I'm telling you how I do it there are other ways that you can do what Dropbox does but Dropbox is a free program and tool that lets you upload your packs and then have a link to download that pack that you uploaded and you can give the link to Technic Platform on their website to say this is where my pack is located and when you do updates to your packs if you change the mods that you have in a pack if you update the mods you have in a pack all you have to do is drop those files in your Dropbox and tell uh, Technic Platform hey I've got a new version of this mod pack and it'll work it's great it's it's very easy to use you can again get help with this if you need to but you can sign up for Dropbox right here you're gonna have to provide your email you're gonna have to have a password or you can sign in and you can also from Dropbox.com you can download the program the software so once you have it uh, have it downloaded you're going to have a little have this little Dropbox symbol the box right here um, in your system tray down near the clock on your screen and um, you'll be able to open those files and this video is getting a little bit long we're over 10 minutes so I'm gonna go to uh, the second video but uh, follow along stay with us and once we're done you'll be creating and uploading your own mod packs um, with the best of them thanks for watching bye